Hi, this is Dominic Daughtry, and I'm making this video because I wanted to show off the SharePoint integration with Bluebeam to the uh, Sunt employees here. Uh, SharePoint integration with Bluebeam uh, is super time saver. It's definitely a two second lean practice. Currently, Sunt uh, has the capability and does allow external and internal SharePoint sites, and you can link it up where you don't have to get out of Bluebeam and go to another program or go to a web browser. You can access all the documents. You can upload documents. You can uh, download documents. You can share documents without going out of Bluebeam. Uh, so right here you can see I've got a web tab open. This is to a, a beta site uh, for an Office 365 SharePoint site. Uh, you can do that in a web tab, uh, but you don't need to do this uh, uh, you know, for every application. The one thing that you do need to do is you need to go up here and you need to get uh, uh, and you need to enable the document management toolbar. So you go up to this area right here, anywhere in here, and uh, all you have to do is right click and go down to document management and click that. And right here it'll show you the document management toolbar. You've got your connection, you've got your uh, open file icon, you've got your save as icon, you've got your check in and check out uh, ability uh, right from Bluebeam. Next thing you're going to need to do is you need to go to settings up here on the right and go to preferences. And preferences is going to open up uh, you know, all your uh, Bluebeam preferences and uh, it opened up directly to the file access but if you're in uh, if you're in another uh, section of the preferences, file access is what you need to get. Uh, you have the ability to uh, set your SharePoint options. You know, prompt for check-in, check, check uh, checking comments. Uh, you can, you know, have that ability or not. I don't really like to. It's kind of, you know, it's a kind of a pain sometimes uh, to have to click out of that. And we're all about eliminating steps. Uh, use default credentials. Uh, prompt for checkout and Internet Explorer. Uh, store last access folder, perfect. Auto detect SharePoint links, definitely. Auto detect SharePoint network paths, definitely. That that keeps the network path on the URL uh, saved within Bluebeam. And then cache files locally, so so definitely. Uh, the next thing is actually adding and integrating your SharePoint site. So you're going to click add, you're going to add to SharePoint site and you can add as many as you want. If you have multiple, you know, if you're a project manager and you're you're managing multiple projects, you can have every single one of them all the documentation accessed directly from in Bluebeam. It's super easy. So we're going to add the uh, the beta uh, the Sun SharePoint beta uh, SharePoint site right here. Uh, you want the type to be SharePoint. It also uh, integrates with uh, uh, Bentley project-wise, but Sun doesn't use that. So I have uh, all the login credentials, the site, uh, site display name, default library, and all those things, login, name, and password uh, right here on a Word doc. So we're simply going to go over here and copy that. Go back to Bluebeam. Do that. Site display name, uh, we'll just say Aztec Center Sun, or do share beam site. Default library of this uh, actual site. Uh, it could be shared docs, it could be whatever, but on this one it's Sunt Documents. Login name, uh, we've got it right here. Copy that, that over, once again, get my password, simple, and then check out on open, uh, I personally don't want to do this, it's easy enough to check out, but it, you know, the, the fact of the matter is, is if you want to check it out, you can check it out, it's just checking out every single document. Uh, upon opening in Bluebeam, uh, for me is unnecessary. It may work out for what you're doing. Uh, check out on open from hyperlinks, definitely, because uh, uh, that's just personal preference. And once you press OK, you have it ready. You select that and you log in to make sure all your credentials and everything went through. It'll communicate with SharePoint, setting up everything. You can see you're logged in and just press OK.
now that you have everything uh, you know set up you go you can go to your document management tab right here and you have the ability place it on your SharePoint site and you can now have access to all your different documents for that SharePoint site so I can go through uh, take a look at what we have for proof submittals for Berg on this uh, access control and I can open directly from my SharePoint site now open it up communicate with SharePoint and there you go I've got my file you know and then right here is where you have your uh, uh, you can uh, uh, right click and you can save as you can check out you can check the version history uh, so I'll take a look at the version history there's only one version so no modifications have been done to it I also have the ability uh, uh, to uh, save as or check it out I'll check it out right here and you can see as soon as it's been checked out you'll see that it's been checked out by me in if you're in the actual SharePoint uh, admin and also you see this red uh, check mark that shows that it's uh, uh, checked out so all you have to do is you can check in over here or you can also check in here there you go communicates with SharePoint and you're all good to go so there's a ton of different functionality here uh, if you go up to the save as tab uh, you have the ability to save it to any folder uh, within your SharePoint site. Uh, not only that, you have the ability to create a new folder uh, in your SharePoint site. Uh, you also have the ability to save to disk, which is your local or network drives. Uh, so there's just a ton of functionality. Uh, it's all from directly within Bluebeam. Uh, which makes it super convenient and like I said this is a, an absolute two second lean uh, uh, management practice uh, so I hope everybody enjoyed the uh, tutorial and uh, uh, good luck setting up your SharePoint sites on your blue on your blue beam thank you bye